Today I'm riding in Sedona, Arizona, and I've just climbed up the High Line climb segment, and I'm at the high point that has these incredible scenic views. So I'll give you a quick panorama of the Sedona Valley there and Cathedral Rock. It's quite a spot. So we ride down here, and then a couple of switchbacks along there, and then down there where that hiker is and then along a bench right down there it's one of the three H's double black diamond here in Sedona so uh, let's go Ripper There's a view of Cathedral Rock. That little section there is always a tester for me. It's uh, tight with a little bit of exposure on the left. And then we get this really cool ripping flowy segment in here. So this is actually my third time on the trail. Morning. Yeah, so there's the transept turn. It has become very popular with the hikers, so you do have to really watch these blind corners in here. So it rained real hard about three days ago in here. And so there's still a little bit of runoff. But the trail generally is mostly slick rock. And so it does dry up quite well. You do need to be wary of some of the really steep rolls and the eroded sections. but it has so many cool natural occurring features. Hello. That's what makes Sedona so appealing is this is all natural stuff. And every time I ride this, there's one or two more features that I'm able to do, but I didn't do the prior time. So I don't know about today, but we'll see. There you go, there's an incredible view. Oh, 
Okay, hence begins the technical rolls. Steep stuff. And this should shoot. I'll walk that risk is to hit the head on the tree here and this next little second section is hard enough and even though when you ride a trail again weather changes it and uh Sometimes new erosion. There. Yeah. You know, I'm almost able to do that, but no, not today. Yeah, there you go. There's that little segment right there that's a little beyond me. You know, it's oh so close. Maybe I could do that, but not feeling it today, so. There. First time I've done that. And this is a very cool shoot. I rode that shoot with my buddy Paul a few years ago in the wet. And it was a little, a little freaky. And I rode this that section the first time and actually did an endo beside that tree and scared myself here's this little wash section that if it's rained recently can get a little wet but if you like these valley bottom rides like this that are actually sometimes very cool but janky there's the bottoms up trail here in Sedona that's also a very cool creek bed ride with narrow boulder gaps and rock big rock rolls and Couple of drops. And then this flowy finish here. It's kind of fun. Feeling of accomplishment after riding that stuff back there. By the way, I neglected to mention at the top, it took me about 30 minutes to climb up the climb segment of Highline so it's a very technical climb
Okay, that was Baldwin. Now to climb up Templeton for a bit. Back to my parking lot. So here's a segment of the creek that is in full flow. And a few years ago, I came here and had to bushwhack around this bend because the trail was washed out. But now they've made a, a new stone uh, bench cut around this creek that allows you to pass. So that was a great enhancement. So this is the Templeton section. Uh, very scenic section of the trail here. And just right underneath Cathedral Rock. So let's do a 360 here. Just for a laugh. You can see way up there. Cathedral Rock. And so, normally, I take the easy breezy wash down here. It's a blue. It's a great slick rock wash ride descent if you haven't done it it's probably what you want to how you want to return but today i'm going to ride around the scenic return on templeton instead so that's what i'm getting at is at this point you have an option to get back to the parking lot is down easy breezy or along templeton See how scenic this trail is? It is outstanding. Well, that was an outstanding ride. I gotta say the High Line's probably uh, the second of these two trails here, the three H's. Uh, I think I prefer High Line over the Hogs Trails. And it's got everything, flowy bits, technical bits, and a punchy little climb. So anyway, thanks for watching folks and we'll see you next time.